A push by the state legislature to make more housing affordable in Florida. Friday, the Florida Senate passed the Live Local Act. It's an effort with more than $700 million to build more affordable housing for people priced out of the booming Florida home market. The state house just voted 103 to 6 on the Live Local Act, sending it to Governor DeSantis's desk for approval. The goal is to build more affordable housing in places like Jacksonville, where local realtors will tell you a lot of buyers simply can't afford. I had a closing uh, three days ago, and uh, uh, I was a listing agent, and when they, we, we had difficulties selling the property, and when we finally got an offer, the buyer was asking for up to 4% um, towards the closing cost. Amelia Mustafaiva is a local realtor. She says she has to push some buyers to more rural and affordable areas like Baker County because there's frankly sticker shock when they find out how much homes cost in the larger city. It's been like this for a couple of years and we would expect them going a little down, but it's not. And you know, people still need houses and they just can't afford it right now. So the bill will incentivize developers to invest in more affordable housing and development in areas that are economically struggling. The bill's co-sponsor, Representative Demi Busada Cabrera out of Coral Gables writes, as our state continues to grow, we need to make sure that Floridians can live close to good jobs, schools and hospitals. This issue is critical in the race for Jacksonville's next mayor. Republican candidate Daniel Davis told us we should take action immediately and make workforce housing part of the capital improvement program in Jacksonville, Florida. We should do a survey of city-owned properties and independent authority on properties and make sure that we can make the finance stack work for developers where they can come in and preserve workforce housing. And Democratic candidate Donna Deegan says, I think there's no question that it's one of the number one issues and we need to do more to tackle that. I think there's a lot of things we can do. I think we first of all need to look at all these vacant properties we have all over the city and see what we can do with that. See if we can have nonprofits and more affordable housing in some of those vacant lot areas. One big source of contention in the bill is it prohibits rent controls. And legislators asked about the bill say it will probably take a while before residents in Florida start seeing results.